helmet problem was an issue. I didn't realize 90% of people were wearing them. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't think anyone in the video had a helmet. <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, we, we couldn't find a single person riding a scooter yep. with a helmet. Probably a bad sign. We'll yep. see how that other pilot works out. We're still in the winter time, though. This would not be the time when you'd want to be riding the scooter with the weather that we had yesterday, the weather we're expecting. Oh, definitely not. It's been very wet. The ground's kind of soaked. And right now we're seeing some fog. Yeah. I uh, guess where this Look is at. Look at that gorgeous view. Yeah, you really can't see. This is actually coming out of our Vancouver uh, camera. And uh, just about every direction that I've tried to point that thing, was dealing with some sort of fog. That's going to be an issue as we go into tonight for many locations. Already a problem for locations up towards Vancouver. With it, though, we'll probably have some rain return. That's going to be probably close to about 9 or 10, maybe a little misty uh, on top of that fog as we go through the next few hours. But some more steady rain will be arriving later tonight. We have two disturbances for our Sunday. One in the morning that's going to kind of move off to the east, and another one's going to slide on in for the evening hours, which means just about all day tomorrow we're going to have some sort of activity likely a little bit of rain if you're starting to make some plans for your Sunday. On top of that, though, a little bit of mountain snow. If you're making some plans to get up onto the mountain, just be ready for some fresh powder. And I know that's going to put a big smile on a lot of people's faces. Okay, you can see Vancouver there down to about a quarter of a mile. Some locations down towards Newport. So uh, many areas through the valley tonight are going to be dealing with patchy fog from time to time, especially as we go into the overnight hours. You can see all that moisture. It's going to be coming in from the south. That's going to be our first area of low pressure. And it's going to move right through the central Cascades and it's going to exit the state uh, as we go into tomorrow evening. And then we're going to see another low kind of slide on in from the northwest and that's going to leave us just active for our Sunday. So far right now, pretty dry besides those clouds out there. Maybe again, a fine mist, uh, but not much happening. That's all down to the south, and that's going to arrive later on tonight. So if you're going to make some plans um, anywhere from about 9, 10, 11 to midnight tonight, rain jacket probably necessary. So yeah, follow me along here as we go into about the overnight. You can see that deeper moisture finally starting to arrive about 10 p.m. Also going to be producing some snowfall for the Cascades. I think we're going to pick up a decent amount that could be down to even the passes. So also, uh, if you know anyone that's going to be doing some traveling through the passes or you might be traveling through the passes early tomorrow morning, it's probably going to be a little, a little snowy out there. Some heavier rain at times to moderate showers. It lasts through the overnight. Here's 8 a.m. Notice still some snowfall for the Cascades. Likely just seeing rain for areas of the gorge. Uh, and then our second system is going to arrive later on in the day, too. So maybe a quick break tomorrow around midday. But then I expect more showers for the afternoon and evening uh, that will likely be kind of scattered through our Sunday evening. Monday appears to be dry. I think it's going to be a bit cloudy, though, especially west of the Cascades. That's trying to push a little bit of moisture in there, but I think we'll probably stay away from the rain on Monday before we start to see more rain arrive on Tuesday. So the next couple of days will be a little busy. OK, so with that mountain snow, we do have a winter weather advisory for the Cascades. Uh, that's till noon on Sunday, so a good bulk of that's going to happen overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. You can see here anywhere right around Mount Hood might pick up uh, 6 to 12 inches of snowfall uh, from now uh, through our Monday. So far, you can see over the last 24 hours, and most of this happened through the overnight. Timberline, Meadow, Ski Bowl, and Bachelor all picked up some snow, and you're going to see more as we go through you know, the next couple of days, so that's nice. On top of it, we do have a chance for some rain Sunday, a little bit on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, so it should be a kind of a wet, wintry week. So we look at the seven day forecast. Uh, we have 45 on Tuesday, 53 on Wednesday. Wow. We do start to dry up towards the end of the week. Temperatures still mild, though. Still yet to really get cold. Not at all. I mean, uh, a couple temperatures you can see early Monday morning, we might hit about freezing, probably okay. above that, but no signs of any uh, potent winter sure. cold air. Okay, we'll take that, Joseph. Thank you. Coming up next 